Welcome into Texans Today. I'm your host, Jeremy Chuggs. And coming up on today's show, my top six players the Texans should re-sign this offseason as we near free agency. I'll let you know who I think the Texans need to bring back before free agency starts and the Sharks hit the water. Ah! So we'll get into that in just a moment. But before we do, subscribe today. And if you haven't already, join the Noti Gang and you're like, Chugs, what is the Noti Gang? Well, that's people who have their notification bell turned on. So when we drop a video, they know about it first. So these are the steps. First, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that sub button for daily Texans news and rumors videos. Step number two, click the notification bell. And number three, when you click it, it auto does it to personalize. Change it to all. So that, may, that means anytime we drop a video, you get notified here on the channel. And I want to show some love to the people who do have their notification bell turned on. So if that's you, if you have your notice turned on right now, drop a bell in the comment section, the bell emoji. Just go ahead and type that. You can type bell if you're a little bit older, don't know about emojis. But go drop a bell in the comment section so I can show you some love and know who are the real ones who have their notifications turned on. So first player that I want to get into is number six on my list. Kymie Fairbairn. I know kickers are people too. I I I have a I had a whole list going and everything, but just first and foremost, I think this is a given for the Texans that they're going to re-sign Kymie Fairbairn. But that's this one guy that you need to make sure you lock up, get him in here long term because he's been a really good kicker for the Houston Texans and had a couple games that came down to the wire. Don't want to you know put anything bad on anybody, but. Not having Fairbairn out there really affected a couple games for the Texans this year. We need Kaimi Fairbairn in the lineup this next season because kickers, really when it comes down to it, can win or lose you a game. Now, let's go into my top five guys who the Texans need to re-sign this offseason. Number five, Dalton Schultz, tight end. The Texans signed him this past offseason to a one-year deal from the Dallas Cowboys and he was a pretty good player for your Houston Texans this year. 59 receptions, 635 yards, five touchdowns. Had a couple huge plays down the stretch. If we're thinking back to that Tennessee Titans game where Case Keenum came in and played and the Texans ended up winning that game. They needed to win that game to make it into the playoffs. Dalton Schultz had an amazing catch. He snagged the ball from a Tennessee Titans defender for a first down, a first and goal. Dalton Schultz played really well for the Texans, but he is – arguably the top tight end in NFL free agency this year. So do the Texans really want to break the bank on Dalton Schultz going into next year? Or would they rather roll with Brevin Jordan, a guy who didn't get as much run this past year, but obviously if you watch that Cleveland, Cleveland Browns playoff game, he had an amazing catch, the longest Texans receiving touchdown in playoff history. Brevin Jordan, you know, still on his rookie deal, wouldn't cost as much, and Showed some promise later on in the year. So should the Texans just roll with Brevin Jordan or should they re-sign Dalton Schultz? I believe if they do roll with Brevin Jordan, though, they do sign another tight end or draft someone else this year at the tight end spot. But let me know at home what you're thinking. Should the Texans roll with Dalton Schultz or should they roll with Brevin Jordan? Give me a DS for Dalton Schultz in the comment section or a, hey, don't laugh. Give me a BJ for Brevin Jordan. Jordan. Let me know. This is the pinned comment on today's video. So you get hit with the YouTube ad break. Perfect timing. Just let me know. Which tight end would you want to be your tight end one going into next season? Next up on the list, Steven Nelson, who recently came out and was talking about how he dissed Nick Casario prior to this season, talking about how it was just a little scuffle between the two. He didn't realize that it would be taken out of proportion on social media that he was dissing the Texans GM, but ended up having a decent year as the Texans' second cornerback. Now, he's not a lockdown guy. He's not going to be your CB1. So if Stingley gets hurt and he's your number one guy going against number one wide receivers, that's not the best thing, but – the Texans are able to bring him back on a team-friendly deal. I wouldn't mind seeing Steven Nelson being the third corner for your Houston Texans. These were his PFF grade this past season. 71.9 overall, a run defense grade of 58.9, a tackling grade of 65.5, and, and a coverage grade of 73.1. So he's pretty average, above average, you know, comparing him to the rest of the NFL. But is Steven Nelson a guy that really moves the needle for me? No, not necessarily, but I wouldn't mind the Texans re-signing him if the price is right. 
This next guy, I really do think the Texans should try to re-sign because they don't have a, a lot of depth at defensive tackle. And that is Sheldon Rankins, arguably one of the best defensive tackles for the Houston Texans this past season. I would really like to see uh, Sheldon Rankins, really what he can do this next year. I'll break that down a little bit more about Sheldon Rankins in just a moment. But first, got to show some love to our sponsor, Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. And, you know, right around the corner, we just celebrated Valentine's Day. So I just wanted to let you know why I absolutely love Prize Picks. It's daily fantasy sports made easy for number one. It is the largest daily fantasy sports app in North America. Daily specials and discounts. Ooh, talk dirty to me, prize picks. Up to a $100 deposit match, and they cover the NFL, NBA, college football, also basketball. They have hockey, baseballs right around the corner. Ooh, prize picks. You are so, so good. Go get started with prize picks right now. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use that code CLNS for a $100 deposit match. Prize picks is daily fantasy sports made easy. Now, let's break down a little bit more with Sheldon Rankins as I, you know, get a hold of yourself, Jeremy. Come on, stop that. Uh, Sheldon Rankins is the third guy on my list. 37 tackles, six sacks this past year for your Houston Texans. And as we're looking at the defensive line depth chart, not a lot of guys coming back who are really going to be solidified starters. You have Will Anderson. Malik Collins played well this past year. But as we're looking at the defensive tackles, Kurt Hennish and Malik Collins, Khalil Davis, those are the three guys. That's not really inspiring if you ask me. I would really like to bring back Sheldon Rankins and possibly get a, another defensive tackle either in free agency or the draft to really bolster this group. Sheldon Rankins is the third guy on my list of guys who I would really like the Texans to bring back this offseason. Now, number two on my list, he really stepped up this past year, and that is Blake Cashman. Didn't have a lot of expectations going into the season, but Cashman was arguably the best linebacker on the Texans for most of the year until Christian Harris really came on towards the end of the year. But Blake Cashman, 106 tackles, two sacks, nine tackles for loss, five PBUs, and an interception. Blake Cashman really showed out this past year for your Houston Texans and was a big-time contributor in the beginning and middle part of the season for this defense. I know D'Amico Ryans, a former linebacker, loves him some great linebacker plays. So I wonder if he kind of wink, wink, nudge, nudge, Nick Casario, can we get this guy back? Because Blake Cashman was a great player for the Houston Texans and still at a decent age, going right into his prime on the right side of 30. So I wouldn't mind re-signing Cashman to a two, three-year deal and just letting him and Christian Harris take control of that linebacker group. Now, before I get into my number one guy, let me know. Who do you want the Texans to re-sign this offseason? A lot of names, a lot of guys. The Texans actually have the most free agents in the NFL this season. So, could the Texans possibly re-sign a couple of these guys? I think they do. But let me know who's number one on your list. Who do you want the Texans to re-sign? And before I get to number one on my list also, here's some honorable mentions of some guys who didn't quite make the list. Devin Singletary, he was right there on the cusp, but there's a lot of good running backs in a free agency, and I don't know if Singletary is really higher up than a lot of those other guys, so that's why he didn't make my list. Josh Jones, Charlie Heck, stepped in admir admirably for the Houston Texans with a lot of injuries. I really think they re-signed one of these guys for offensive line depth because if we learned anything from this season, it's that you need depth on the offensive line. The Texans had so many injuries. They could re-sign one of these guys and make me feel a lot better. Just like I was saying with Sheldon Rankins earlier, the defensive tackle room has taken a big hit. So if they can get Tyre Tart back, I think that would be a good move. As well as Derek Barnett, a guy that they were able to claim off of waivers middle of the season. He got released by the Philadelphia Eagles. Played pretty well for the Texans. So if they could re-sign him on a cheap deal, have some more defensive end depth, I wouldn't mind that signing as well. But speaking of defensive end, my number one guy is Jonathan Grenard. Had a fantastic year for the Houston Texans in a contract year. Grenard really showed out for this team, getting a career high in sacks 
and tackles for loss, and in only 15 games. He had 52 tackles, 15 tackles for loss, 12 and a half sacks, and one forced fumble. And I will say this. Grenard is the one guy on this Texans team that I could really see them franchise tagging and really locking him up and making sure that he doesn't hit free agency. There's a lot of top defensive ends in this year's free agency that I think get franchise tagged as well. There's Brian Burns, Josh Allen, not the quarterback, the defensive end from the Jacksonville Jaguars. And I think Jonathan Grenard could be another one of those guys that gets franchise tagged by the Texans to make sure he's on this squad going into next season. And if you don't remember, here are my top five guys the Texans should re-sign. Dalton Schultz, Steven Nelson, Sheldon Rankins, Blake Cashman, Jonathan Grenard. I also had Kaimi Fairbairn as number six on my list. Thank you all for watching. That's all I have for you on today's show. If you haven't already, hit that sub button. Go to YouTube.com slash Texans TV for daily Texans news and rumors content. We're the fastest growing Texans channel on YouTube. So don't miss a thing. Go down and hit that sub button. And if you haven't already, go follow me on Twitter at Jeremy Chugs, giving you more NFL content, tweeting out funny things from time to time, or at least I think they're kind of funny. Go follow me on Twitter at Jeremy Chugs and hope everybody has a great day.